Good morning, guys. I'm sorry, I am alone right now. Shell is watching our bags and our backpacks down inside the cabin. They're doing a big announcement here. I'm sorry, maybe I should've waited until that announcement was done. All right, announcement's over, guys. But we just left the Tawasan Harbor. That was not very close to downtown Vancouver. We were kind of surprised at how far away it was, but it's all good, we made it. Heading for Victoria, we are stoked. As you can tell, it's still raining quite a bit. There are nobody outside on these sun decks, which is where we wanna be, you know? We'd love to like be outside and see the water see what's passing by but this ferry is pretty awesome we had no idea kind of what this was about we've been on ferries before but this one actually holds over 400 cars hundreds and hundreds of people there aren't very many people on it today I think we're only like 30% filled the capacity but this is awesome guys this wasn't very expensive at all it's only about 15 Canadian dollars per ticket so super reasonable and kind of a fun way to get to a new city on the water we always love to be on the water if we can all right it's starting to get pretty windy up here I'm gonna head back down find a shell See if she wants to come out and then just enjoy this boat ride. <laughs> what are the chances you think my beanie flies off? <laughs> Pretty good. Okay. You want to lounge on the sun deck, babe? I want to sit up here. Alright guys, it stopped raining. Still cold and windy, but we abandoned the comfort and warmth of the cabin with its plush leather seats. <laughs> And we brought our stuff outside and we're just hanging out here. It's oh, too beautiful to not be outside. It like it's gorgeous. gorgeous out here. We even have a little sun almost kind of poking through. This is so nice. We've got the tripod out. We were definitely nervous the tripod might blow over, but it's been totally fine. We got yeah. some cool photos with our backpacks and it's just gorgeous, guys. took the ferry all the way to beautiful Victoria, which you can kind of see behind me, but kind of not. Oh, there's the schnazzy hotel that's <laughs> so famous here, you guys. So far, this is gorgeous. I'm a little bit more of a fan. I mean, Vancouver, you were beautiful too, but I gotta say I'm a little bit more of a fan so far of Victoria. It is just like, it is so beautiful here. I love it. I love where we are. We're just like right on the water. We went to our hotel. We couldn't get in yet because our room wasn't ready, but that's okay because now we get to just walk around and see this beautifulness that is behind us that I'll show you. We're walking along this cool little boardwalk, beautiful dogs heading my way, trying to find some place cool to eat because we're starving. Actually, starving is an understatement. We're getting a little hangry, okay? We haven't eaten anything since early this morning when we woke up and left Vancouver. So we're gonna go try and find something to eat, okay? Michelle's making hardcore fun of me. That's the parliament building right back there. Super, super pretty building. Guys, I think I'm a little bit hungry and tired right now. I don't know what to talk about. A little bit about. hangry. I'm just gonna put the camera away. Let's put it away until you get some food in Stoked you, to be in Victoria. Super mad redfish, bluefish is closed right now. We'll go there tomorrow. <laughs> we'll find something else to eat right now. <laughs> Hey guys, this is a 
staple that we were told many times we had to try. Anything with french fries I love. Okay, that's really good. Like, really good. This is the Putin. Not Putin. <laughs> Fueled up, got some delicious food. We had the poutine that everybody was recommending that we try. Delicious. And for anyone who didn't know what it was, like we didn't, it's basically french fries, cheese curds, and then like a nice brown gravy. Very good. Sounds a little weird, but I gotta tell you, it was really good. Yeah, well we saw it on the menu and then we read the description and we're like, yeah, that sounds amazing. Then I got the halibut fish and chips. Shell had a mango chicken salad. And now we have checked into our hotel and check out this view from our balcony. Spin with me, babe. Okay. It's still going! We're still, okay, we're, we've ended. Pretty awesome, guys. We actually got this hotel at a really cheap rate because they are doing some renovations right now. You can see there's like fencing around the grounds and the whole front lobby is undergoing renovations. But you know what? That does not affect our room. That does not affect our view. So we jumped on this. That's Fisherman's Wharf just right back there. Everything's within walking distance. We are stoked on this because we love staying kind of close to, you know, everything that we're wanting to do. So this location is awesome and the view is even more awesome. Not very good whistler. <laughs> It's like 50 something degrees outside, but Shell's still cranking on the AC over there. Hot in here! It is kind of hot in here. We like it cold. Before we head back out, I had to redeem myself. The place where we just ate had these wonderful things, toothpicks. So I jammed my toothpick in there and then broke off the ends because the pin was missing. And look at that! Back in business, guys. Back in business. down at Fisherman's Wharf and the reason I'm kind of whispering is because I don't want to disturb any of the residents living in these homes. These are float homes and they're all private residences. We just talked to a couple of people that live here, the nicest people ever. And of course, Shell's the nicest person ever, so they immediately hit it off and they just told us all about it. They lived out on these float homes for 20 years. One of them used to live on this dock then moved over to a dock. It's just kind of funny how it's his own little neighborhood out here on the water. It's really cool. All the homes are very, very like nice very beautiful very colorful so kind of crazy we were not expecting this this place is apparently like closed from dusk to dawn i don't know if we've hit dusk yet but no one has asked us to leave but we are trying to be respectful and quiet because there's people that live here on these docks it's insane shell's back there with the tripod getting some sick photos right babe yeah Really, really cool guys. Unfortunately, all the shops and all the desserts and goodies and all that is closed. So we're gonna have to find somewhere else to get our dessert tonight. This is so cool. We were just walking along each little street. I don't know, each little dock, I guess is what you'd call it. So yeah. obviously not a street, it's a dock. They're like, I live on dock A. I live yeah. on dock C. Oh, cool. And 
then we met some of the owners of the homes on dock a and they were so sweet and kind and they told us all about it this one lady has lived here for 20 years in this little home over there and then this other couple they lived on this dock that we're on now for five years yeah. and then they've been over on dock a they just moved a couple docks over and they've been there for three years that's just like it's so <laughs> cool it's just like he said it's like this little neighborhood and they were so nice i obviously had a ton of questions that i was asking <laughs> because i was like this is just too fascinating not to ask questions like i feel like i'm on an hgtv tv show right now so i was like does your home go up and down and they were telling us all about how with the tides their homes can go up and down like 10 feet yeah and we were asking how they felt about you know their home and their dock becoming a huge tourist attraction he said they get like 750,000 people down here a year yeah. and he said they kind of found it a little annoying so i don't know why they live here yeah lots of people because there's actually a cruise port oh. There's actually a cruise port just right down here. And so this is a huge tourist location for all these cruise ships that come in. So kind of funny. He also said they're gearing up for Halloween right now. He said tons of kids come down to Fishersman Wharf and go through all the private residences trick-or-treating. So it's just kind of funny, guys. Really cool, kind of funny. Not sure I would ever want to live here, but I can see the appeal for some people. I think it would be so cool to just experience living here. I mean, I don't know that I'd want to be here permanently, but I think it'd be so cool to experience that. Yeah, we asked them if they ever Airbnb the homes and they said, not allowed. This is really cool. I want to get out on one of these fishing boats now and go fishing. You a big fisher, babe? No, no, but just being here, I want to. <laughs> I had halibut for dinner. I want to go on a fishing boat. It's starting to rain. So our friends lived in these two right back here. This little purple aqua colorful one, and then this really big lime green black one, which she is currently repainting because she just bought it. How epic, guys. Just those <laughs> tiny little homes like floating on the water, you guys. It is seriously so cool. I, I can't get over it. I can't get over how cool I think this is. They had the cutest dog and they said that there's a bunch of dock dogs. They call them dock dogs that live in those little tiny homes with their owners. Yeah, and they have to haul them all the way up off the dock. Into this park. Into this park here for them to go to the bathroom. To go potty. How annoying would that be? But you know what? Dogs are worth it, guys. They are. They're totally worth it. They're dock dogs. <laughs> We're back. We're going to call it a night, guys. <laughs> We went to 7-Eleven. We loaded up on some editing goodies to help, you know, keep us going, keep our juices flowing. Yeah, what do we got, babe? Oh, let me show you. We got some Canadian favorites here. Actually, I don't know if it's Canadian favorites or not because we actually had this stuff in Europe. We got some <laughs> Wonder Bars. We bought two, one for him, one for me. And then we also bought this O. Henry. I don't know if we have those back in the US, but if we do, we've never seen them. <laughs> we also bought Mango Sour Patch because we've never seen Mango Sour Patch. Guys, we're supposed to have Good weather tomorrow. We have some fun stuff planned. We hope we, oh yeah, more treats. <laughs> okay. We're super excited about it, guys. Thank you for following along. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Check out our Instagram because Shell here has been going nuts on the camera. We got so many cool photos today. And this little bit of misty rain, honestly, there's been nobody outside. So we've been getting awesome photos all alone in these really cool places. And it's been awesome. So make sure you check out our Instagram at Dan and Shell. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.